today one of those temptations that are very i mean difficult to overcome is the temptation into adultery or fornication and the tool that that temptation uses well to perform its antics is woman in proverbs 7 we see how an adulterous woman becomes the wiles of the devil to the man who lost everything. In the first instance, I want you to go to Psalm 119, verse 67. I love the Yoruba part of it that we can read in English. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. Thank you. Don't read the second. The, the B part of it is not necessary. Nobody can be harmed or easily dealt with without you losing focus of where you are going. And that's why today I'm asking you to focus on the big picture. And I said the big picture for the Christian is what? Eternity. If you focus on that, if you look at Hebrews 12, 2, that says let's focus on the faith, Jesus Christ, our, the author and finisher of our faith, you will, you will not be able to fall easily into this. That young man in Proverbs 7, let's look at him. I want us to pick a big lesson from there. Um, let's read from verse 7. And behold, mm -hmm. among the sinful ones, mm -hmm. I discerned among the youths, okay. a young man void mm -hmm. of understanding. Hold on. Let me read the Yoruba office. And this is for the benefit of people who are watching our Yoruba. Odi mo siri ninu awon ope mo ki esi ninu awon mokunrin omo okunrin kan ti o ye ku fun now he's going to describe this man in the first instant the big lesson i learned is that this man if he was knowledgeable enough if he had understanding he would not fall into these wiles of the devil that comes with the woman that is adulterous and now listen to it that's it passing through the streets near her corner and he went the way to her house he was going on was going yeah in the twilight mm -hmm. in the evening mm -hmm. in the black and dark night you can see that that kind of person was a wanderer he just, he, he just wandering around what i mean if he knew one man is my used to be my driver in Nigeria. Sorry to mention this. I went where I went to me was the one driving me. Somebody gave us a car, he was driving us. So where I was staying in Lagos, he was to come and see me. So he would pick me. I wanted to go back to Ibadan or wherever at that time. I think I was traveling back to Ibadan. This man came with another young man that was my driver. That one was my driver. So when they got to Ikeja, the man saw those people doing uh, those Rondo Rondo people, and uh, he forgot himself. He stayed there and the boy, he was, thank God for telephone. It was because he had cell phone on him that the guy, the young man, said, he said, he looked and said, ah, where is Baba? I said, which Baba? He said, he said, he looked around her. And the people said, which Baba are you looking for? So he called him and said, the man was looking at those people doing a he said, he was a wanderer. That's the kind of man that easily, so if you wonder, if you are a wanderer, somebody that goes there and they're not facing your own business, not focused on your eternity as a Christian, you will wander away. And that's why Kato Pomiloju at the moment, Read further down. And behold, mm -hmm. there met him a woman. Uh -huh. If he was going his own way, will he have met that woman? Okay. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an hallow. Mm-hmm. And subtle of heart. Thank you. So the woman, this the, the rest is story. Read further down. The woman told him, Don't worry, my husband is not at home. Let us go there. You know what they say, Nigeria, let's go there. Now trouble they ask you to come for. So the man followed her. She is loud and stubborn. Mm -hmm. Her feet abide not in her house. Now, watch out those women, the loud women. And even herself, she would never stay in her house. Yeah. 
Now is she without? Mm -hmm. Now in the streets, mm -hmm. a light in wait at every corner. Isn't that describing to you what Alos look like? Yes. Those uh, good evening, sir, people. That is a temptation for the Christian. They are describing you, Christian. I like Billy. That is jumping up and down, jumping up and down. You move from one place to the other. You move from one place to the other. You are leading yourself gradually because you're not focusing on the big picture. Please sit down. They will read the rest at home, but I'll just take one. I'll ask you to read one more part. The man stupidly followed that woman. And in verse 22, he followed her like a cow that is being led to where he will be killed. Please read that one. He goes after her straight away. Mm -hmm. As an ox mm -hmm. goes to the slaughter. Okay. Or as a fool. Oh. To the connection of the stocks. You see, if the man was focused on the big picture, he would not fall. That's temptation. I've told you that this temptation comes in many forms, but we're using this as a template to, to let you understand. Now, I love this part of it. 23. 23. Mm -hmm. Till a dart strike through his liver, oh, oh. as a bird bursting to the snare, and know it not that it is for his life. You cannot enjoy that verse until I read it out to you, Yoruba. Only, Titi of Afi Guniedo. Be a yetting yara bossing open. Tikosima pay for a me only. And that's how, and that's how adultery traps you. That's how fornication traps you. And once you're trapped in it, that's it. 26. And he said, because a lot of people are falling that way. And ends it with 27. Ile no no body. Tis so color. See ye week. If you, as a Christian, you fall into the way of the adulterous person, you will lose at the end of the day, and you will go into hellfire because you did not focus on the big picture. And that's why James, in James 1, advises us that when we are going through problems, let's look at James 1, James 1, 12. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. Mm -hmm. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. And that's where I want to raise the story at this moment. That when a man refuses or resists to, they, to fall into the trap of the adulterous one, he will receive the crown of life. He will get to that eternity that I'm talking about. So I ask you, whoever is watching and whoever is listening, that when you focus on the big picture, which is eternity, you stand to gain and resist temptations. We use adultery as an example of that temptation today, but there are so many things that have made people to lose eternity. Money. See what people can do because of money. They get into office as politicians, they steal all the money in this world. I was listening to one podcast, watch it, and one, maybe a former security man in Nigeria said, a certain security advisor had $69 billion in a US account. I said, oh my goodness. Let's really face it. If you give me one billion dollars and I'm talking to you now, I will misbehave. I'm telling you the truth. Because it's nine billion. When I get to Ibadan, I'll go to Ibadan, I want to get a type two. Ah, uh, yes now, because there's money to waste. If I were not a pastor, that's the kind you that's you start doing whatever I want to do. I'll tell them how to go to the house of Senate, whatever they do there. Because you have money that you never worked for. And one man kept $69 billion Nigerian money in his personal account. Do you think with all the suffering other people are going through because of the economy, would that kind of person make heaven? And it's strange that such people now go to churches or mosques, they will not donate one big money. They are fast and the bishops and we do not start praying for them. That, oh, God will help you. Where you are getting your money, you continue to get money. 
is that a, a prayer or a course? I once said, I one young man, today is a DG, he's one of my junior colleagues in the industry in Nigeria, and I said, I wrote and I said, if you bring your tithe to the church that I pastor, and I see that that source is dirty, I will return your money. He said, how will you know it's dirty? What, what, who tells you it's dirty? When a man is a civil servant, and all he makes is 400,000 naira a month, or let's say 500,000 naira. And suddenly they are talking of a project of women and say, I'm going to donate 1 million. I will ask him now, hey, Alaba, ah, I need to roll. 1 million, never feel it. Only, if you were to be a businessman, I won't have much to say. Once you get money from businessmen, you know that they might have done anything, but at least but he's a businessman. What can a civil servant whose salary is, say, let's say even say his salary is 12, uh, 200 million per annum, 200 million, and they're talking of a prayer, and he says, I'll give you 50 million. Something is, I mean, somewhere. But I didn't take time to explain to the young man because I know that he has made up his mind. That wherever I was going, his pastor has made him. I've had stories of pastors that have people have gone to defraud other church, uh, government in order to look good before pastors. I don't want to go into that, but I just want you here to focus on the big picture, which is eternity, and let all those things that can make you lose eternity let go of them. Because I know there's another fellowship in them. And on that note, I want you to know and determine today that no matter what happens, you will focus on the big picture, eternity. And when you do that, your life becomes guided by the principles of those who want to make heaven, not the one who just say it. May the Lord God be with you. Amen. May the Lord God guide you. Amen. May the Lord God teach all of us how to do his will. Amen. May we never miss the, the step that will take us to the kingdom of God. Amen. And when it's time for the Lord God to harvest the elect, we shall be part of those that will be harvested in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is my wish and my prayer for you this moment, that as the world seems to be coming to an end, you will not lose the kingdom. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name.